Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to check out the Pinecone SG2402 which is a 124 scale crawler by Pinecone SG and the cool thing about it, it seems to be fully licensed with a die cast metal body um, with the Land Rover branding so this is my second crawler from Pinecone SG so let's have a look at it on the box the car is fitted with an LED roof bar which it actually doesn't have and I will share my thoughts on that later. There's also a blue version but we're getting the... that's not khaki. I think it's more olive. Alright let's have a look inside. Ah oh, but it's in a plastic clamshell. I wish they would have used some cardboard which is also better for the environment. And there's the manual which you should read it's actually very detailed. And then we're getting some plastic preloaders, which I will probably use in a different video, and wrenching tools. A cute little remote, which fits well in my hand. It's good for one-handed steering. It has steering durorate and steering trim. Also has a button that says brake. I'm not sure whether I will remember to use it. And then the battery, they go inside. Um, ah, okay, it's like a magazine. And it goes like this. And click. A charger. Off camera I already shed some tears because the trailer hitch was broken out of the box. So it actually goes there. Or I can just cover it with the license plate. Just like in real life. Look at it. It's a beautiful car. The spare tire is not really functional and it's not at the same size, but maybe I will fix it in a different video. The door is actually open, look at it. Wow. And now the front door. Ah, phew, finally. Oh wait, let's have a look inside first. Ooh. Oh, and the ladder on the side actually folds down. Let's open the bonnet uh, or hood. And now look here, you can even use the shovel. Alright, now shock test. The dampers are actually friction dampers, that's for sure. But since the top is quite heavy, it looks kind of realistic. Now let's see underneath. So we have a classic crawler frame with a shell on top and then with a die cast body on top. The shafts are actually made of metal and they look really nice. The dampers look they can be replaced with some that fit into the Axio SCX24. In the back behind the center gear and under the shaft we have the motor which appears to be maybe 170 or 180 motor. Oh yeah and the battery sleeps in the back. And it's even a 2S LiPo with 300 milliamp hours. Right let's charge it. And while we're waiting just admire it on the shelf. Ooh LEDs are looking pretty good there. Let's see those turning indicators. So it appears that they don't turn on right away, you have to steer a bit more to activate them. And there are indicators on the back as well. Also brake and reverse lights. Now let's try and make a climb. For this test I use the box of my furniture which I still have to unpack and set up of course. I couldn't find my compass I'm guessing this is like 20 or 25 degrees now we have like 30 to 40 degrees and it's also a little bit more slippy now if you thought that this was it that was not full power yet
radio on, car on, and let's go. It is such a nice little looking car, and uh, I will just try and practice a little bit, and then we'll make a climb uh, and go up and down hills and stuff. Just have fun with it. And of course, always indicate where we are going next. The top speed is claimed like uh, at about 10 kilometers per hour, which is okay for that size and it's a crawler. So you're driving in the real world, the dampers actually don't seem so bouncy anymore. The differentials on this car are locked, which makes it so much easier to get over obstacles. Sometimes I just like to drive around and enjoy the scenery. On other occasions, I love to find me a challenge and to conquer the terrain. Some tasks are more difficult than others. Now to my idea why I think they got rid of the LED roof bar. I think after all the rollovers that you just saw, it would have probably just snapped off. And when you're crawling, sometimes you do roll over. back up again. If I compare it to the Pinecone SG1802 which I reviewed before, I think this is the better car. They were both uh, sold for the same price at about 70 to 80 euros, but the SG1802, as I said in the video before, was more like a rock bouncer. You could either drive very fast or you are stuck in front of a, a root or a stone and you couldn't go further where with this one you actually can climb over and I mean climb not only jump and now through the jungle
Well, I had great fun reviewing this car and I promise you this will not be the last time that you see this on my channel. I will put a link in the description for the car and if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you for watching!